Okay, I hope that I can keep this uh, short. Uh, what I see a lot is, um, I'm going to give the example of a uh, memory card. The data is lost from a memory card. It all of a sudden disappeared or um, uh, it, it was formatted in camera, it doesn't really matter. People go out on the internet and will try to uh, find a tool to recover their files. They try one tool, it doesn't detect any files. They try the next tool and the next and the next. And um, they keep trying tools. Um, what they don't understand is that if two or three tools not being able to recover any files probably means that uh, none, uh, not a single tool will be able to do that. But um, what I want you to try uh, next time you are in a situation like this or somebody asks you for advice is rather than a run from tool to tool to the next tool is to actually uh, first uh, consider if the drive contains any data at all. This is always my first step when somebody sends me a card, a memory card or a USB flash drive. I'm, I'm simply first going to uh, determine if the card, uh, if I can detect any data at all. I'm going to use a hex viewer for that. So I'm going to use a tool that contains a hex viewer. This is not the only tool that offers this uh, feature, but this is the one I'll be uh, using in this example. <clears throat> uh, I don't have a memory card connected. I have one, but it's very bad, so it may not able. Uh, it may not even detect. I'm going to try it. Yeah, this is probably due to the card. I'll, I'm going to disconnect it. And it's immediately... Um, what I can try to do is... See if I can get it detected in here. Yeah. And now I can probably. No, it still doesn't see it. Why not? Yeah, finally. No, I have it detected. Okay, so, so then what I want to do is um, uh, use the hex viewer. This is what we're, we were doing before I got distracted again. Um, so I just want to see if this memory card I just connected contains any data at all. So I click hex. And then you basically want to 
mm -hmm. it takes a problem with the card but what what we can see here, we can see data. Um, and so then it makes sense to try recovery software on this drive. If we would just see zeros or 99%, 99.9% .9 zeros or 99.9% or .9 uh, some byte pattern like FFFFFF, then it's no use running one file recovery tool uh, or three or 10 or 100 will not be able to recover uh, any data from this device at all. A data recovery specialist may still be able to detect um, recover data by going a level below that, uh, what we now have access to. We, we now speak to the um, memory card controller basically and this is what is giving us the zeros or the ff filled sectors if we can bypass the controller we may actually be able to see and recover data now if the card contains data then the next best thing you can do is um, create a disk image uh, a disk image just reads the card from sector zero to the last sector and it copies all those sectors into a disk image file. And then no matter what happens to the card after that, once we have this image file, we can try and retry and retry as often as we want with as many tools we want to try to recover the data with. Plain disk image file will almost every file recovery tool will be able to work with a plain disk image file target file location you have to consider that to image a 64 gigabyte uh, memory card you're going to need 64 gigabytes of free space somewhere to store this disk image file but the main thing i wanted to get from this video is use a hex viewer rather than just dumply trying tool after tool after tool after tool. This is basically what I, uh, it was supposed to be shorter, but thanks for watching anyway.